Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Pandora. I'm back. Um, this is a different kind of video. I usually do tank reviews, but um, this is a what went wrong. These are close call games, um, higher than average games, where unfortunately they're both losses. Um, the first game is Desert Sands. Uh, I'm in the M48 pattern. Uh, I got it there recently. I played about 10 or 11 games in it so far. Really liking it. Really, really liking it. So, this is a game of supremacy. Um, I don't know if you saw Matchmaker, but we've got three mediums and they've only got two. So, we're going to flank here on the A side. Uh, I'm going to try and stay off the dunes. They have got two TDs. So, I'm going to try and keep as low as possible. See what shows up. Um, you never know, their two mediums might come. So, coming around the edge here. Probably mistaken itself. I'm isolating. We're isolating ourselves from the team here a little bit if we go too far wide. But uh, we do spot up the 140. He's trying to get the A cap. So, I'm going to try and push in here. I'm aware that there's another tank to the right. Uh, but the 140 is an important tank to get rid of. High DPM, tier 10 tank as well. So I do get a clutch bounce there, and I'm trying to take him out. And he's using his armor really, really well. I don't know if he's aware of it, but he's got it at an angle where I'm bouncing shots. But the uh, Sense 7 1 in fairness to him, he charges him, and now he's got no choice, but he tries to push me. I'm pushing into his face there to try and bounce that shot. And. Uh, yeah, I do use a lot of my consumables to get rid of him, but he's an important tank to get rid of. And uh, a big kudos to the Sense 7 1. He seems to have the stock gun, but he, um, he had no problem with charging him down there. So we do spot the Progetto, or Progetto, I don't know how it's pronounced. Um, now he's actually with a Conway. And the 70, uh, Sense 7 1 spotted him up, but I'm going to try and leverage hit points here, try and leverage my gun depression and just put the shots in. I don't really want to take any shots. Conway has a dangerous little gun on it, but he's missed that shot. And I'm trying to get myself into a position where I can use the gun depression and stay in cover. So I don't know if I'm doing it all that effectively there. I'm kind of dropping away and coming back, but we do get the kill shot on the Conway. Here's the proge Progetto. Um, the 140 has sacrificed a lot of hit, point, hit points here. Um, but we've done well. We've done, we got rid of their two mediums anyway. Don't know where that shot goes. Uh, the 140 is a one shot. But we managed to take out the Progetto. Um, just telling the team here to reset camo. And I'm going to peek. I'm going to try and use the good uh, spotting range of the tank and see who we spot up. But it seems like the me the heavies the heavies are all in town. Uh, they're not doing too well. The last of our heavies is just about to die here. There he goes. So I'm going to try and use... The fact that they're still spotted up here now i was contemplating on charging in a little bit but they're still spotted so i'm just going to try and get shots in there's the t57 i don't know where that shot goes and the t57 still spotted so we put a shot in here now i'm a little bit cautious of the fact that maybe they're communicating to one another and maybe they're going to charge out so instead of charging in and using my spotting spotting range i'm trying to see what they do here the sense 71 is actually pushed into town to try and spot as well he's still got his full hit points now he's going to sacrifice a trade here on the e75 he does get a shot but he takes a massive shot from the 268 so i'm going to try and come in here and try and support him he's behind the building and i'm going to try and cover him that 268 peaks and we put shots in him but i do get spotted i don't know who spots me there they know where I am now at this point, and the E75 is going to try and use his hit points. Uh, there's the 268, I don't know why I even try that shot. Looked like we might have tracked him. No damage though. There's the 57. Put a shot in on him, turn him into a one shot. And they're all behind the buildings now, bar the 268 who's holding this side. So I need to turn my attention to him. I'm trying to bait a shot from him, I do manage to get the bounce. And I do get a lovely little shot in there. He's still not dead though. And I'm telling the rest of the team to try and stay alive at this point. It's important that they stay alive. See what the Reds do and respond to it. Now the E75, I make a mistake there by knocking down the tree and telling them where I am. And I take a shot. And I bounce my shot. I'm shooting tracks, which is a big mistake. I should have been taking the time there to hit the lower glaciers. Switch the heat. But I don't. Bounce two shots off him. And he's going to push me here. There's a 57. I'm just going to reset camo here. Fall off the map. And then quick peek a boom to take him out. Now the rest of the team are all one shots. 
I can take them out. But I want to see what the E75 is doing here. Is he playing me one side and going to go the other? I don't know. So I reverse one of my teammates. I'm the last one here now. So I need to take them out. And I need to do it pretty quick. E75 goes the wrong side of that building. He isolates himself from the rest of the team who are all one shots. So I get a clutch bounce. The 268 managed to take him out. I'm going to try and go into the C cap. And then I have second thoughts here. Um, I need to get kills here. But I, on second thought, I really should have got this cap and I hesitated. I'm playing the VK's bluff here. He's going to come this side. Um, again, I don't take the time. I should have switched to heat, hit the lower glacis and take him out. I take a shot. He bounces it. Match put one in, using heat. But the E75 has crept in around. And uh, we managed to bounce 1.6 and get 4.2 and there's an anonymous mistake at the end of the game me saying stuff i probably shouldn't be saying in public but we get a first class top gun radley five kills um 4.2 with damage and it's just one of those games where if the rest of the team maybe stayed alive um it was really time against me um but i managed to kill two teammates it was that last guy who was creeping in and around he played it really well now He's not the best of players, but he played the tank really well. Okay, and we're on to the second game. It's another game of Supremacy. It's on Middleburg, and I'm driving the Amex 31 year prototype. I love this tank. I'm so glad I got it. Um, strong turret, very fast. It's a bit like a Leo. Um, this is a tier 9, tier 8 game. We've spawned in the hill, so I'm going to try and push for the C cap, but I'm not going to push the cap immediately. Um, so I'm going to stay in the hills. Um, I've told my team that I'm going to try and spot them as they're coming up. Um, this is probably a tactic that's probably more, bet, more suited towards encounter battles. But just in case anyway, um, you know, you never know. Sometimes the team will all decide to push up and then push down later on. But um, we've seen that the E50 has gone for the C cap. Uh, we haven't spotted anyone who's gone up the hill. But we're in a position where if anybody pushes in past the B cap down there, we can spot them and push shots into them. But that's not really the case now. I know somebody's in C, so I'm going to turn my attention towards C. I'm staying in, on the top of the crest of this hill. And I'm going to try and use it for my, to my advantage. This has got, got great gun depression. So put a shot into the E50. He's shown his side, so I put another one into him. Um, that's no problem. Um, the Sen 7 one is there. I'm going to turn my attention to him. Put a shot in on him. No problem. And I put myself in a situation here where I'm in a bit of a crossfire. Now I'm trying to prioritize the E50 because he's a tier 10. Um, put a shot into him, but I take two there. But the E50, he makes a mistake here. He backs off. Um, and the Sen 7 1 is putting shots. There's me using the gun depression, uh, using the turret as well. E50 doesn't want to know me for whatever reason. So I'm going to try and take out the Sen 7 1, prioritize him. Um, so just putting shots in on him. Now I'm going to push him. I need to get rid of this guy pretty quickly. I'm trying to put him... I wasn't aware at the time. I thought the E50 was still there. He was using the hill. I'm trying to put the sense of one between me and him. But um, unfortunately... Well, probably fortunately for me. He's pushed on past. He's forgotten all about me. Put a shot in on him. And now it's really just a matter of trying to take him out as soon as possible. I'm using the hill here. He's missed a shot. I bounce my shot. And it's really just a matter of trying to take him out as soon as possible. There's a, there's a 28 prototype in the corner there he hasn't moved he's not actually going to move all the game he's put a shot in there but he does very very little um at this point i'm contemplating getting the c cap because they're winning on caps but we're winning on tanks it's 4-2 shouldn't be an issue um it is an issue it's going to become an issue um we're going to lose a teammate right there i'm going to push down i'm going to make a push I'm going to be aggressive here, so I'm going to try and get this Borsig to take care of him first. Uh, rolling down, he's in behind these buildings. Uh, but managed just to spot him up as he's going for another teammate. So put a shot into him, but he um, he manages to take out a teammate here. He's focusing on me, I splash him out to Ram King. And then we're straight into the, the, uh, the prototype here. Um, my priority here is getting as close as possible to him and jam my turn into his gun. So trying to get the bounce there's the bounce right there i'm getting shots in him trying to wear him down and he panics and starts running so i'm still able to put shots into him put him between the building and me managed to bounce that and this is where it all goes wrong 
He's down to one shot. I come in at an angle. But I get it all wrong. And he's able to and he's able to pen my armor. So this is it again in slow motion. The first mistake I put distance between us. I should have been sticking to his arse. I'm trying to come in here at an angle so that I hit him square on, but he's reversing and I'm trying to line up my turret so I can block the shot, but I hit his um I hit his track with and I think he might shoot me in the turret there, I'm not sure, but he's able to kill me. And literally seconds between us, um he gets the kill shot. And I vent my frustration here a little bit at the T28 prototype who's, um, he hasn't moved. They win on caps, um, clutch win by the Leo, fair play to him, GG. Um, 5.2k of damage, 86,000 credits, consolation prize, second class mastery, high caliber. It's just one of those games where I wasn't actually mad at the team, I was more angry at myself. And it's one where I spent several minutes just with my head in my hands thinking about it afterwards. Um, yeah, I was kind of, so frustrated with myself.